Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another play along video. I'm keeping my voice a bit low because it's uh what time is it? It's literally 5 a.m. for me, you know. So <laughs> I don't want to be too loud when I'm speaking, so hopefully that's fine. Uh but yeah, we're back with another play along. If you don't know how this works, this is a series where uh yeah, there's like some challenge links in the description that you can play. You don't need a GeoGuessr Pro account, you can just play it with a normal GeoGuessr account. And uh yeah, we'll be playing three different games, so there'll be three challenge links, so you can play through the challenge first, then you can come back and watch my perspective, and uh, uh, yeah, usually I'll explain my thought process, my reasoning, and I'll point out like specific clues and whatnot that I notice, so that way hopefully you can pick up some tips, pick up some clues that maybe help you in, in the future. And uh, yeah, if you have any tips for me, you can also let me know in the comments. That's that's the general idea. So we both get to learn, we all get to improve at the game, and uh, that's that's uh, in my opinion the best way to improve is just to have fun and play with others. So uh, <clears throat> that being said, today we'll be playing some no moving games again. And uh, uh, it's, uh, like last two videos, we did like some special stuff, NMPZ games, and then last video we did like uh, continent-specific games. But uh, let's just go back to the classic format: no moving world maps for this video. So let's let's get into this. I'll, I'm also still pre-recording this, so <laughs> I don't even know like uh, when this goes up. I might have some time on my hands, so. Uh, I don't know, like I'm still pre-recording just in case I'm not able to like make and upload new videos um, whenever this video goes up. Um, but if I am able to make a new uh, make and upload other videos, then yeah, you can expect additional games on top of these uh, like additional videos on top of these playalongs, you know. So I'll try to do that, but at least uh, it'll be nice to have the playalongs sorted. So I'm just gonna pre-record like a bunch for now. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's get into this. Um, let's start off with a diverse world. Let's do that. So, challenge link in the description. Hopefully, at this point in the video, you have finished playing your challenge and now you are here to watch my perspective. So, let's go. Ooh, this is interesting. We have a sunset going on here. Very nice. Um, where are we, though? That's a Good question. <laughs> really not much to go off here. Um, I'm thinking somewhere in the Baltics though, because we have this like gravelly road, very typical for the Baltics, lined by the trees. Um, also these roofs here look kind of Baltic to me. So I'm thinking, yeah, one of these, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia. I don't know about this sunset coverage, if it's like meant to be more common in a certain country, but maybe. So, the thing with Baltics is that usually if you have like a pole that can help you narrow it down, we don't really have a pole nearby, so that doesn't help too much. Uh, signs and kilometer markers can also be helpful, but uh, again, we don't have any of that. So we kind of have to rely on uh, some some car meta tricks that were developed in, for these sort of locations pretty much. So this looks to me like it's a black mirror. And I think a black mirror is more common in Latvia and Estonia compared to Lithuania. So I'm going to eliminate Lithuania from the equation here. And uh, this looks way more like Latvia to me than Estonia, so... Um, that could be a Latvian hooks, hooked pole, like Latvia has like three like hooks on the pole, so it could be that. So I guess it's put this potential that this is Latvia. So I'm just gonna try that and uh, let's see, could be wrong, but... Uh... Oh yeah, no, nice, it is Latvia indeed. Uh, I don't know, country streak should be one, let's go. So yeah, if you didn't get that, that's that's totally fine. Uh, I explained my thought process, but again, I wasn't too sure either. So yeah, 
uh, as long as we get the ball ticks there i think that's good enough uh no front plate on this round we should be in the us just based on the landscape sun is in the south we have double yellow middle lines these black and yellow chevrons which uh typically well, tip, well they're found in a bunch of places but uh definitely you find them in the us also this like optic fiber whatever thingy is uh it's common in the us so no front plates with this kind of a landscape hmm. i'm thinking if this is ever like kansas or oklahoma because i think they don't have front plates uh, because it's like so flat and it feels like there's some farmland as well so you know maybe maybe it's like kansas or maybe it's like one of the southern states i don't know i'm not too good at us so <laughs> i really don't know how to region guess this i'll try kansas but uh, it's probably wrong oh it is actually correct okay <laughs> this is probably <laughs> see i've been trying to invest some time into the us but uh i don't think i'm that good yet but uh you know that's a that's a win in my book i'll take that let's keep on going what do we have here we have this this is the biggest clue here so you have a black sticker on the electric pole that is very very typical for mainland malaysia so in malaysia you have this mainland part and this part called uh, like borneo part of malaysia uh, but uh, if you see a black sticker on the pole like this then that's only going to be on the mainland not in the borneo um, and then yeah, you have these like palm trees, you have some language as well to help you confirm. Uh, but yeah, very very typical for mainland Malaysia. So here we could maybe have an address, let's see. Um, <laughs> man, it's so hard to see what this says. Um, could that be Kelantan here? Or am I making that up? I don't know. I'm just going to go Kelantan because that's what it looks like to me. Let's see. No, it's not. It is Selangor, which is the state in which the location was. So yeah, <laughs> shouldn't have uh, really wasted that much time on that sign. But uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Let's keep on going. This time, this is a harder round, but the sun is in the south, so we should be in the northern hemisphere um so if you look at these houses and uh, these houses right here they look very european so you can kind of like eliminate like north america and stuff from the equation you know so like for example you know it's not going to be mexico because uh this architecture is very european um and then now that we're in europe these like i think these are olive trees um so or yeah i think they are but if not then you can correct me in the comments uh but like these olive tree plantations are very common in like southern europe so i think main contenders here are probably spain portugal italy and greece so i'd say it's probably one of the four you also have a, a generation two camera so you have a circular blur on top and bottom but yeah you can get gen 2 camera in all four of these so it doesn't really help narrowing it down i mean there's an off chance for france as well i guess but uh i don't really see this being france um let's see we really don't have much to go on here I'd say it's probably not Greece just based on the landscape like I'd say this is this landscape is like more typical for Italy Spain Portugal than Greece so I'm just gonna eliminate Greece based on that so we're kind of down to three countries portugal spain and italy it could be either of those i think spain is probably my best guess but 
I could see it being the other two, especially Portugal. Like this building kind of looks Portuguese, so then these, not really, I don't know. I'd say this is probably Spain, that's my best guess at least. But yeah, this is a tough round, I could be wrong. I'm trying to see if there's like any hidden hunting signs somewhere. But uh, not that I can spot at least, so doesn't really help. Okay, I'm just gonna go with Spain and uh, let's see what happens. All right, it is Spain. Nice. Let's let's go. I'll take that. But yeah, that was not an easy round, so fair enough if you didn't get that. Okay, let's keep on going. Um, I'm not fully sure of this one. Thinking either Peru or Bolivia, but what is that signpost? Okay, let's let's look around a bit. The sun is pretty much just overhead, so I wouldn't really trust it too much. If the sun is pretty much straight above you, then it's really not that helpful. Uh, you can see we are driving on the right because here you can see like the back of the car. Here's the tail light of the car. So if the back of the car is on this side, then we are driving on the right. And then you also have like yellow lines in the middle, so should put us in South America somewhere. Um, this white car you usually find in Peru, Bolivia, and Chile. Um, yeah, especially when it's like opaque like this, you know. You can see like a white car, but it's kind of translucent in like Mexico and Brazil. But uh, when it's like opaque like this, then it's gotta be Peru, Bolivia, Chile. So, you're kind of already down to those three. I don't see anywhere in Chile that would look like this, so I can safely eliminate Chile. Um, I don't know if Dardo is like a political thing or something, I'm not sure. Maybe that's helpful. But it's either Peru or Bolivia. Now the thing is, when I look at this signpost, it doesn't look like a Peruvian signpost because Peruvian signposts have like black and white stripes on them. So that makes me think maybe Bolivia, but then Bolivian signposts are usually like wooden signposts, you know? This one almost looks like it's made of metal, so that's a bit bit confusing, I think, but uh, well, it would be odd if this signpost existed in Peru. That's, that's all I'll say. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, this is a Bolivian signpost and it's just because we are so far that uh, we can't see it clearly. But uh, I'd be very surprised if this is Peru. Oh, we have this kilometer marker. I actually don't know the difference between Peruvian and Bolivian kilometer markers. Ah, I'm not sure. This, <laughs> I remember seeing kilometer markers like these in Peru, but I don't know the difference between those and Bolivian markers, but uh, maybe I need to study that. But I can't think of where in Bolivia would look like this, you know? Like Sucre, I guess, is the closest you'll get, or maybe somewhere out here. Because Sucre doesn't really fit. So I guess somewhere here is probably the best guess. Ah, uh, watch this be Peru. Let's see. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's good. Yeah, like green area in Bolivia is like out here, and then mount like green mountains probably just had to be here somewhere. So. Okay, there we go. That's uh, that's game one. We ended on a 22.773. So hopefully you also got a nice score. If not, then maybe you got some tips from this video. So let's move on to the next. Let's play Community World. No moving. Again, challenge link will be in the description. So hopefully at this point you've finished playing the challenge and you're here to watch my perspective. Alright, starting off looks like we are in... Russia, I want to say, because we have like this corner bollard spam, that's a typical Russian thing. Quite often in Russia, you like don't see like evenly spaced bollards across the road, you know. Uh, <laughs> they like to just spam them all in the corner. So it looks like that's what we're seeing here. Uh, this pole is also 
like makes sense for Russia. You can also see it in like Ukraine. Maybe Lithuania has a similar poll, but uh, yeah, with the Impala spam, it should be Russia, I think. Now this is an interesting location, though. I can't place where in Russia looks like this. My first thought was like somewhere down here in the Caucasus, but uh, ah, I don't know. Feels way too forested for for that maybe. I'm gonna get this wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm either thinking somewhere out here in the Caucasus or somewhere out here in the Altai region or around it, you know. But I really think this is like the Caucasus because of how like dry it looks, you know. Almost feels like like this tree, for example, feels like very sudden to me. So based on the vegetation, I kind of just want to go Caucasus. There are not like that many mountainous areas in Russia, so based on like how the mountains look, <clears throat> you can kind of narrow it down. So Caucasus are one uh, mountain range that you see in Russia. Then you have a bunch of mountains near Altai and uh, like basically north of Mongolia. Um, you also have the Urals right here. Uh, so that's another place you get mountains get some mountainous hilly parts up there near Murmansk uh, Kamchatka has a lot of mountains eastern Russia has a bunch like uh, here Vladivostok, east of Vladivostok Sakhalin has a few and then Magadan and this sort of area well of the places that have coverage in Russia I'd say these are the main like mountainous parts uh, but yeah as I said, with this like southern sort of vegetation, I think that we're probably in the Caucasus. So let's try that out. I could be wrong, but uh, no, that turns out to be right. It was actually fairly west, which makes sense because like, I don't know, like <laughs> the more east you go, I feel like the mountains are like less and less forested, you know, they're like exposed rock or something. I don't know. Let's keep on going. Um, we're driving on the left here. so. Automatically, we should be in UK or Ireland with this kind of landscape. Um, I mean, I, yeah, really, there's not much else to explain. <laughs> uh, you have a bl yellow black plate, and uh, that puts you in UK. In Ireland, you would have white back plates. But yeah, just the greenery and stuff, and uh, driving on the left should be enough to tell you that you are in UK. Uh, I guess you can't tell where the sun is, but uh, yeah, it <laughs> doesn't matter. So, now where in UK is this? I don't think this is Scotland. I don't think this is Wales. I think this is probably just good old England. Or maybe Northern Ireland, but I, I think it's just probably just somewhere in England. So, I'm just going to click middle. Not sure where. Okay. <laughs> Close enough, I'll take it. We were a bit north of Birmingham, but uh, that's good enough for me. Let's keep on going. This time we are in Japan. Um, sadly, I am not familiar with the Japanese meras. This like silver tape on the pole might be a meta, but uh, I haven't really studied uh, Japanese meras, so I'm not the one who can... <laughs> educate you on that or provide you tips about that but uh, maybe one day in the future I'll learn them and uh, I'll be more useful on uh, <laughs> Japan rounds but uh, until that day comes I just have to pretty much guess a random city so let's go Nagoya maybe I don't know uh, yeah <laughs> I have no idea let's see okay we were max out in Kagoshima so yeah uh, probably someone a few in the comments might uh, know <laughs> why that was Kagoshima and you can let me know but uh, that's the that's the downfall of not knowing Japan you know it's a pretty big country you can lose a lot of points and yeah that's what happened there so anyway let's keep on going this time we are in Senegal and uh, the way you can tell that is well <laughs> there's so many like metas in Senegal that you kind of like it's hard to avoid you know you have rifts in the sky you have a google car with like bars on the side uh, or like roof racks 
you have this like a uh, white front of the car as well uh, very typical for Senegal but like even if you somehow mask all of these hints then you can still identify Senegal because you have a uh, like a very dry landscape um, I don't know how to describe it but you can just see it it's pretty dry it's got these like I don't know like central I don't know like these trees I don't know what these trees are called that's my problem <laughs> but you see these trees in like this kind of area I think uh, so yeah those trees kind of point you towards like more of northern Africa I'd say than uh, southern Africa and uh, the reddish soil driving on the right um, like Uganda and Kenya for example drive on the left so you can eliminate them and then Senegal Ghana Nigeria and Tunisia I guess are uh, ones that drive on the right but yeah uh, I think uh, that and then you also have this like I can't see it clearly but in the back you have like French bowls there so yeah Senegal you'll see a lot of French stuff you'll find French pollards you'll like oh like look at this sign this is like a French looking sign as well you see that you'll see outer dashes those are also like like in France, you can get outer dash lines like this, so similar like French dashes. You'll see in Senegal, French poles, French pollards, all of that. Uh, also French language, because, <laughs> but yeah, a uh, bunch of stuff. Um, so we should be in Senegal, and this we have this thing now. <laughs> this is how far the metas, metas in Senegal go. Like this red, like worm-like thing, whatever it's called is i think in like i think it's on this road maybe i don't really remember i think it's like somewhere on this road and then it also continues maybe like north of here or south of here i don't know it's somewhere here though um so let's see do we have an intersection south and the road bends there so i'll do a quick scan in case i find something that fits or else I'll just make a guess yeah okay <laughs> I don't see anything that really fits so yeah maybe maybe I don't know the correct road but uh, or maybe it's like I don't know if it also happens on this road maybe Cause somewhere here I guess ah but the angle doesn't fit I don't know it's probably out here somewhere it's oh maybe here the angle fit maybe let's try that no 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 oh it goes way further north than I thought okay so <laughs> there we go that's the 5k that you have the road going south nice I couldn't 5k it but uh, it's definitely 5k able if you know how far that uh, tape thing goes anyway let's move on this time Sun is clearly in the north so we are in the southern hemisphere and we have this like white car and it looks like we're driving on the left because this is the back of the car and it looks like it's sticking to the left side of the road so let's say we're probably driving on the left with a white car and sun in the north i think the only thing that makes sense is indonesia because um south america would all be driving right pretty much south africa and stuff doesn't really look like south africa right like this vegetation looks way more like Asian, I'd say. It doesn't look like Australia, New Zealand, or South Africa. Um, so I think the only thing that really makes sense with this vegetation is Indonesia. And um, it's really dry. So I'm thinking maybe one of these lesser Sunda islands. <sighs> maybe like East Nusa, West Nusa, I don't know maybe even Timor or maybe even one of these like Alor Island or something I don't know uh, <laughs> but I'm just gonna go East Nusa and uh, see what happens it was indeed Timor it was pretty much downtown Timor Leste okay so yeah that makes sense it gets very very dry out here in Timor so kind of added up I just kind of hedge for West Nusa Sumba and all of that but uh, yeah, if you had the balls to go <laughs> all the way on Timor, well done. Um, and that's that's it for this. I ended up with 21.6k. Could have been a bit closer on Russia, maybe. 
uh, as well as Indo. But uh, yeah, don't really know what to do about Japan other than just uh, <laughs> grind that country and get better at it, you know. So anyway, that was uh, game number two. Let's go to game number three this time and improve world. Challenge link will be in the description. Hopefully at this point you've finished playing it and let's get into it. <clears throat> All right, we're starting off in, I don't know where we're driving on the right though. <sighs> is this Russia? <clears throat> what is this? You can see like a faint white line in the middle of the road. So it's probably not the Americas. This, this architecture, this building makes sense for Russia, I think. So I'd say it's probably just Russia. Um, yeah, that's the only thing that really makes sense to me. With um, driving on the right, white line in the middle, and then these super short trees. Like these are like very northern trees. Like if you see this, then you have to be at a very very high latitude. I'd say. Is a classic like super northern vegetation. So that pretty much just puts me either in like northern Norway or Russia. And uh, yeah, I don't really see this being Norway ever. Like uh, these houses especially don't look Norwegian at all. Looks like there's probably some like mining going on in this area maybe. So one of those maybe northern Russian like mining towns or something, you know. Um, now we have some mountains around us, some hills, some mountains, I don't know. And then again, super northern vegetation. So I'm thinking out here near Murmansk, as I said earlier in Russia, you have a few places where you get mountains. And uh, I think uh, these look like probably the Murmansk area mountains, you know. Also would make sense why it slightly resembles northern Norway because it's close to it maybe. So that's my guess. I think somewhere out here near Murmansk. Not sure exactly where. Yeah, that makes sense. We're actually very close to the Norwegian border. So makes a, a lot of sense. Well done if you got close and if not, hopefully that round helped you. Let's keep on going. This time we are in an Arabic speaking country and uh, of the countries that have street view, there are only four places mainly that speak Arabic. We have UAE, you have Jordan, you have Tunisia, and then uh, you have like, uh, like parts of Palestine, a little bit of coverage in Egypt, I guess. So <laughs> that's pretty much all you have to think of when you see Arabic. Um, yeah, with this black car, you are pretty much forced to be in a Jordan. UAE will have a white car. Tunisia will have an antenna on the car. It will not have this like black car. Uh, the place that does have a black car is Jordan, though. Israel and Palestine also have a black car, but they have a long antenna on the car usually. So uh, yeah, you can rule those out. You also have white number plates. Israel and uh, stuff will have yellow plates and I think that taxi in the distance is an Amman taxi I could be wrong about that but uh, I think I've mainly seen it uh, in Amman so probably just in the capital I'll see a few more here I uh, don't quote me on that to be honest but uh, <laughs> could be wrong about that but as far as I know I've only seen them in Amman so yeah that's where I'm gonna go Oh, it said Madaba there. Ah, I didn't know it was a place. So if I knew that, then I would have guessed there. Okay. Close enough. I'll take that 49-24. Let's go to round three. This time we are in Brazil. And the way you can tell that is that you have very red soil. Well, it's also rained right now, so it makes uh, the soil color even darker. But uh, even so, you can tell that it's kind of reddish. Uh, as I said, you get like a translucent white car in Brazil sometimes and Mexico. Uh, but yeah, if it's opaque, then it's going to be Peru, Brazil, Bolivia and Chile. But uh, yeah, this translucent car makes sense for Brazil. And then the main hint here is this black back of the sign in Brazil. You have signs and their backside is black in color. So that's a few hints that tell you that you are in Brazil. You also get like longer number plates in Brazil compared to some other countries like Mexico. 
so all that said we should be in Brazil now the question is of where in Brazil is this um, <clears throat> This almost feels like ah okay <laughs> I was gonna say I was literally scanning for a piranha pine but there we go these are what we typically call piranha pines and uh, I could just smell it you know just based on this landscape I was like there's gotta be a piranha pine here somewhere and uh, <laughs> there it is indeed so these are called piranha pines these are very unique looking trees that you usually find in this sort of area so you have a state of piranha so where you can obviously find it and you can also find it in surrounding states you know like uh, santa catarina some parts rgds some parts probably uh mato grosso those so sao paulo like surrounding areas of piranha pretty much you can also find it in like the panhandle area of argentina sometimes so yeah that kind of gives you the region you have these uh, piranha pines here um and yeah, I think uh, it's kind of hilly, kind of mountainous, so I'm just going to go here in Parana. Okay, this time it was uh, RGDS, makes sense. Uh, it was uh, pretty hilly and uh, we had the Parana pine, so nice. Okay, moving on, we are in Mexico, I think. Damn, <laughs> we're getting all the big countries in the seed, aren't we? So this time biggest hint here is this octagonal pole, which is a typical Mexican pole. Um, yeah, it's got like, I mean, it just looks like a octahedron or whatever. So if you see that, here's another one that's uh, going to put you in Mexico. The sun also looks kind of south, so that helps. You also have a shorter place this time, so that's uh, that's found in Mexico. I mean, yeah, like similar to like the US plates right like US plates also short like this but uh, Brazilian plates as we saw last round are longer so yeah uh, we should be in Mexico with that and the poll now the question is uh, where in Mexico we have some palm trees but it also feels kind of dry so I don't really want to go like Yucatan Peninsula you know it doesn't feel doesn't it feels more drier than that I think although I could be wrong and uh, could be there but uh, yeah I don't know I really struggle with uh, region guessing Mexico to be honest so I don't know where to guess <laughs> really don't know where to guess maybe I'll guess like Veracruz or something but what should be like further north somewhere I don't know or maybe first I don't know I really don't know Okay, it was west indeed. Uh, we were in Sinaloa technically. So well done if you got close there. As I said, I am no good at Mexico. Well, sometimes I can recognize, like I can recognize some places in Mexico, but uh, this was not one of them for sure. So yeah, well done if you got that. If you have any tips for me, you can let me know in the comments. Maybe there was a Sinaloa plate or something. I don't know. I have not studied uh, Mexican plates. Uh, but yeah, let's keep on going. Let's see what else we have. Okay, and <laughs> again, we are ending up in Senegal. This time again, hard to avoid rips in the sky. There they are. Again, you have the Google car with the roof racks. This time you also have a pretty significant blur on the car. So yeah, very typical Senegal stuff. Um, now this time we don't have that red tape or like red worm thing. So... <laughs> I unfortunately don't know where in Senegal this is because uh, I have not invested time to study Senegal. Is that a donkey? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I've not invested enough time to study Senegal. Senegal is very learnable. It has limited coverage and yeah, I know like a bunch of people have learned it already, but uh, not me. So I'm just going to click somewhere in the middle and uh, let's hedge in Tuba and hope for the best. Okay, we were this time north of Tamakonda, but uh, I'll take it. We ended up with 20.8k. Last two rounds kind of kind of stealing some points. Ah, it's, it's fine though. We got over 20k. That's good. So that's it for the game number three and also for this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you had fun playing the games. And um, yeah, I hope you, hope, hope you did well. And if not, then... Uh, yeah, 
uh, hopefully you got some tips from my perspective so that's uh, that's about it for this video I'll still be pre-recording like the next two or three play alongs I think wait what's uh I need to see the calendar here so I've recorded one for these three so 20 actually I probably only record one or two more so yeah <laughs> Uh, the pre-recorded -pre playlongs are coming closer to their end, so uh, so that's nice. Uh, and then, yeah, hopefully when you're watching this video, I'll actually be able to also upload like other videos. Hopefully, I'll have time to uh, make other content uh, when I'm when I'm at my home in India. And uh, yeah, if I do, then <laughs> you'll hear from the present me in those in those videos. But uh, as, as for the playalongs at least, uh, I'd say two more playalongs after this one will probably also be pre-recorded. So looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, I'm re like I've been reading the feedback on the previous playalongs, and uh, it's really nice that you guys uh, you guys are enjoying it. So I'm I'm having fun making these as well. It's a <laughs> it's kind of a lazy and easy video to make for me as well because I just have to play three games. But uh, you know, it's also fun. So nice that's uh, that's about it thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye